What's up, YouTube? Happy Sunday. I just uploaded Psalm 62, so um, this is just a little addition for Sunday. Um, if you didn't go to church today, just remember, I say this like every Sunday, that you can always look up um, services online of pastors, and there's birds in my room. You can always look up um you know pastors that you like and or you know you can just find some and watch a service and get some food for your soul okay so i'm going to share isaiah 26 3. um i suffer from a lot of different things a lot of nightmares um so it's weird being 27 years old and suffering from nightmares it's just like a weird situation to be honest with you but it's very like crippling and I consoled in a friend and they said you should read Isaiah 26 3 and I read it and honestly I think other people would enjoy it as well so here we go thou will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusteth in thee trust ye in the Lord forever for he in the Lord Jehovah is everlasting strength for he bringeth down them that dwell on high, the lofty city he layeth it low. He layeth it low even to the ground. He bringeth it even to dust. Even He bringeth it even to the dust. The foot shall tread it down, even the feet of the poor and the steps of the needy. The way of the just is uprighteous, though most upright doest weigh the path of the just. Yet in the way of thy judgments, O Lord, have we waited for thee. The desire of our soul is to thy name and to the remembrance of thee. With my soul have I desired thee in the night. Yeah, with my spirit within me will I seek thee early. So, amen, you know. Um, but the most important of that, I feel, is that will keep him in perfect peace. Uh, you know, God is always our refuge. God is there for us to bring us peace in this chaotic world. And we always just have to remember that because focusing on God keeps our um, mind in a better mood, better feeling, better just overall around. I also want to share um, Ephesians, Ephesians, I don't know how to pronounce it, but um, six, chapter 6, 16. And it says, hang on, above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Amen. So with faith, if you have faith, it will get you through anything, no matter what. And, um, you know, that's like a pretty big one right there that, you know, where wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked and that's that's pretty strong because you have to think you go through this world and every single situation it seems like there are fiery darts from hell you know there's just so much uh evil in this world that is so beyond it's and um it's every day you know it's in every situation and um yeah so peace and God being our shield, I think that's really important because everyone's going through stuff, whether it looks like they're living the life or not. Um, we're all going through it, you know, and we're all going through different journeys. We're all learning different lessons. We're all building our character from some way. But, um, you know, to remember that God is here for us and God is with us and to always just say your prayers and just be thankful and ask for guidance and protection and clarity and um, peace. And for God to always be your shield and thank God all the time, you know. Sometimes people just get into the habit of just saying, like, God, I need this, God, I need that. But really, I think it's important to thank God. First thing in the morning, right? Thank God, say thank you, God. And just get in that mind state of being thankful rather than feeling like you don't have enough. But I hope you guys take care. Have a nice, happy Sunday. And take care.